I'm very excited to announce that I'm teaming up with Mr. Humble. He has a Facebook group chat called Madden Competitive Gaming. Link to that is in the description. If you want to get some good games, some good competition, want to lab with some people who know what they're doing, go check it out. Just send an invite request and you'll get invited. It's a whole lot of fun. Been on there for a couple of days now and it's been a great community. Make sure to check it out and have fun watching this video. Welcome back to another video on the channel everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to run the easiest offense in Madden 21. I gotta say it really is the easiest offense that I've found. It is so simple everyone can run it. So this means you're going to have a nice place to start for your Madden grind. Now one thing that I want to mention is that I'm recording or not recording I'm releasing a video later today in which I announce this scheme and I just feel like I can't wait, I gotta post this immediately so all the guys that get man for Christmas. If that is you, this video is ideal for you. Now before we get into it, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video if it helps you now. Let's get on over uh, to the practice field. And one thing that I wanna uh, explain for you guys that are new to man and maybe not know this or maybe don't know this, how do you get a specific playbook in Ultimate Team? I'm gonna put this on, put this on the screen right now. You go to the store. Then you go to the training section, you select base offensive playbook, uh, and then you can choose whichever playbook you want. Now this scheme is out of the Las Vegas Raiders offense, and it's going to be wing flex close, this formation and this formation. I want to show you why I like these formations so much, and I want to show you this by getting into the audibles. Uh, you select the playbook, in the game you press L2 if you're on this screen, or not, not right. you, you select the formation, press X. Then you select L2, and now you're gonna set your audibles. We press square because we want halfback dive in there instead of stick, so we press square again. Then we press triangle. We go down and look for halfback stretch. Four verticals is fine. And then the other play we're gonna go for, let's just say smash. That's gonna be the, the next play. So if I now click L2, you will see that I have these four audibles. Now what do these audibles allow me to do? For example, if I come out and drive Y corner, and I come out to the field, if I press square here, then I can audible to all these runs. So for example, I can audible to halfback dive, or I can audible to four, four verticals. Why not? Or I can audible to uh, smash. All of these, th these things are possibilities. Now you just press square and whichever button you press is gonna be the play. For example, if I press triangle, I'm gonna be in halfback stretch. Great, I think you got this by now. So, the runs out of this are amazing. For example, this halfback stretch, I really like it. Now, it might not uh, work too well here because uh, sometimes good defenders, they just shoot gaps and they just have amazing pursuit. But in this case, it worked perfectly. I'm gonna able to halfback dive right here. And for those two runs, it's really just about mixing them up and not allowing your opponent to understand which one is coming. Um, another thing that you want to look at, and this is actually something I'm going to show you. For example, if I go to cover two man, you will see how the cornerback is going to the right side. In this case, if I have stretch, I want to flip it to the left because the left looks a lot better. So I'm going to flip the right stick to the left. So you see how this one is flipped now. And now I can run this around the edge. Um, he almost got in there, but then again, he didn't. Um, let me actually get down. And yeah, this is pretty much all for running him out of wing flex close. It's just about seeing which side of the formation looks more vulnerable and then attacking that side. Um, another, this is the last thing I want to mention is you can ID the mic on this guy right here by pressing L1, press X. Now you can move this M around. This is going to be a guy that is highlighted that your offensive line has to block. So if I die him right here, ID him right here. Now you will see how he gets picked up. <laughs> wow doesn't get picked up at all i don't know sometimes they just scrape around that way but i'll, I'll try it again um no, i want to out the stretch out of the man coverage i did the mic on him and um, let's run this ball try to get inside of him and now you see there are a lot of yards there now even though i only ran the stretch because the stretch has really big hit potential if you see that they are really gearing up to stop the stretch maybe they uh spread their D-line to get really some better, uh, to have better angles to attack than a scrimmage with the stretch. Now you can run it up the middle and now you have a lot of yards right here. Really simple yards. Just about making your opponent decide which one he's gonna run. And based off the look, you audible to stretch or to dive. But there's more to this formation, obviously, than just the run. I wanna show you this verticals play. And we all you have to do is motion Jones to the outside, snap him, 
now I can just check it down to running back. That is one of the most annoying routes. It also beats man coverage. So now if I audible to cover two man, oh, I'm in verticals right here. Now if I motion out, you'll see how we get a step. Now we can take that up the field. It's just a few yards, but it's going to be to the point where your opponent is going to have to worry about it. And of course, then we'll have some other things open. Verticals, I especially like this against Tampa 2. Uh, this is a, is a cover 2 zone coverage, so if I show you what Tampa 2 looks like. The weaknesses of cover 2 are along the sideline and down the middle. So you see how the deep middle of the field is wide open between those two deep blue zones. And along the sidelines between the between this zone right here and this zone, that is also going to be easy to attack against cover 2. <coughs> My bad. So for verticals, really is just the perfect play to do this. We're gonna motion snap again, just like that. And now you will see how I can throw it to that uh, wheel route to the sideline against cover two. Another thing that I can do against cover two, and this is something that is very uh, beautiful. I'm gonna do the same motion snap, you will see. And I will be able to hit it to the tight end right here. My bad. He got bumped for an eternity. Um, but either you're gonna be able to hit it to the tight end, or if you wanna uh, get, get a little bit more creative go to cover two right here boom you can put the x tight end on the curl which is triangle x and then uh, left stick down curl just like that you do the same motion snap and now you have another option so you can look to hit it over the top to uh, thomas actually that didn't look too pretty not gonna lie that did not look too pretty um but you have another read with the curl and don't forget that you have uh, this very nice route to the running back also open just take it easy yards take it up the field very very easy play to run and really difficult to stop if you don't know what you're doing and this is really just a beginning scheme obviously this can be stopped by really good players everything can be stopped in this game i'm not saying that uh, there are some players that are just overpowered but these things they attack a lot of different parts of the of the zone and your opponent really has to know what he's doing to effect efficiently cover all of them so now and this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because now it matters which side of the field we are on if we're on the left side of the field we want to call the play smash with the two wide receivers to the short side what do i mean by that if we're on the left hash the two wide receivers want to be on the uh, left side of the formation if we were on the right hash we want the two wide receivers to be on the right side now this is a more complex setup, but it is also one of the better setups because it just, it is, it is an idea that was very popular last year and still is this year, in my opinion, it's very underused this year and it is a really simple read. So what you want to do is you want to put X on a curl, which is triangle X down on the left stick. You might want to put the R1 tight end on a flat, which is triangle R1 L2. And yeah, then we have, on, have him on this flat. And now we want to put McCaffrey on a wheel, which is triangle, triangle for McCaffrey. Right stick up, put him on a wheel. Now you will see how this wheel gets open against cover three very nicely. That is a very simple throw. That is one of the easiest throws in the game. And should that not be open, so for example, I just audible to uh, smash. Should that not be open, we have a read on the left side too. We can throw that corner out with the pass lead to the sideline. Now, what is a pass lead, Gregor? I'll explain that to you because pass leading is very important if you want to pass the ball. Um, smash. If I do the setup again right here, which is, this is how quickly you can set it up. You want to hold the left stick to the left while you're passing the ball. That is a pass lead to the left. So you see how we kind of get the throw away from the cornerback towards the sideline. That is where we want to put that ball. For example, if I now were to do a bad pass lead, which would be to the right side, if I now do this, you will see how it is way more in the middle of the field. It's not as open. It's not what we want, even though we just caught that. That was not open. So we want to make sure that if we uh, run a corner out that looks kind of covered, we want to pass lead away from the defenders, just like that. Very easy. Now that is all for wing flex close. Let's now get on to the next formation, which is going to be wing slot. You can auto in between those two. But I haven't set my audibles for a wing slot, so I'll do this right here. Important, we always have an outside run and an inside run. Stretch alert bubble, and we also want... Let's just go with that fact. Like Four verticals. I don't know if I like it too much. I want PA boot slide, so I'm going to press L1 and then X. 
PA boot. I don't know. Let's look at PA boot. PA boot looks kind of nice. Actually, we'll keep PA boot. PA boot does look kind of good. So we, what player we're gonna come out in? Let's just come out. Let's come out in uh, four verticals. Four verticals. This one is not as good, sadly, because I don't like the spacing as much. Important for us to understand this now. We always want the two wide receivers to the wide side. So if we are on the right hash, we want the two wide receivers on the left. If we're on the left hash, we want the two wide receivers on the left. Yeah, no, on the right. My bad. <clears throat> I'm misspeaking. But you can just snap this the way it is. And a lot of the times you'll just take, check down to the running back. This is really against people who use the linebacker. So if they control uh, the linebacker on defense. So let's just say that at some point they get greedy and they want to cover the running back. Then we have got the chance to hit uh, this uh, seam route. This really is just about making your, your opponent get aggressive. And if he doesn't get aggressive, then all you can do is just check it down. It's not that great of a play, but I just like to throw it at my opponent once or twice a game and get some easy yards because really, it's just it, those are just some easy yards now. Let's talk about PA boot slide. That is one of the plays that is a little bit better in my opinion. What we want to do is we want tri press triangle, R1, down with the right stick, just put him on a drag, and then block the running back, which is triangle, triangle, and then R2 and yeah so now if i snap the ball right here i have a couple of reads i can throw it to my tight end right here that is a very nice read i can if i wait a little bit longer so let's just audible uh to pa boot slide if i not wait a little bit longer you will see how i can very comfortably throw it to this x that is one of the better routes in this game and i want to show or one of the better concepts in this game and i want to go to the replay to show you guys this a lot of people don't understand why this happens um, or they're going to be confused as to why uh, their coverage doesn't work. But if we go to right here and we look at this guy, he, this guy is supposed to cover right here. This is his area. He's supposed to cover that. But he gets dragged out of the zone by this guy. He plays man coverage. He doesn't play his zone anymore. He plays man coverage, which, which opens up that crossing route. And that is one of the tougher things to guard in this game. If your opponent doesn't know what he's doing, he's going to have no idea. And you probably will be able to run this play all day long against him. Another read that you can't throw. My bad. Ah, that was just very poor. Um, you can't throw is this C post. Um, it is just a little bit tighter. If your opponent gets aggressive with his user, then you can try to uh, throw that. But be wary. It is a difficult throw. And I don't feel too comfortable throwing it. If you see that it's open because you're because the zones play really aggressive on the drag and stuff like that then you can throw it otherwise i would just stay conservative oh my bad i would just stay conservative take the drag or the crosser and be smart with it now pa boot this is where things get interesting we see this nice crossing art from circle what we want to do is we want to streak r1 which is triangle r1 up on the left stick we want to put x on a flat which is triangle x and then l2 and then we want to put Thomas on an inner this triangle, square, and in on the left stick, or right on the left stick, my bad, and block the running back, this triangle, triangle, R2. Now this is how the play is supposed to look. And my god, is it beautiful. You can throw it to the in route right there all day long. This is one of the simplest throws, it's right in front of your face, you really should never miss it. And there's a lot more to this play, so, my bad. <coughs> oh my god. This is loud as hell. Also, I had a frog in my throat. So, we'll do this again. We'll call PA boot. Gonna make the same adjustments. Just like that. Gonna snap the ball. You can throw it to the in route right here. Or if I wanna wait, I can throw it to the crossing route. Very, very simple. It really is just a one two punch. There's really not much that your opponent can do. You have to make really specific adjustments. And I have to say, a lot of people don't know them. A lot of people don't know them. A lot of people won't be able to figure it out. And this is one of the easier plays to run because it's just such, such a simple read. You can really take some very easy yards. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the scheme. Obviously, I haven't mentioned it yet, but you really should look into running this stretch and this dive combination a lot. This formation, this formation is so good because of its, ca its capability to run the ball. 
and you really should use that like that's a lot of yards that's really a lot of yards in my offensive line just created right there and just in general these two formations really make it tough on your opponent to stop the run and if you can really make them pay attention to the run then you will have some better chances on some other plays i just want to look go back to the play call screen to see if i have missed anything but i think i have covered everything and this is my my, in my opinion the easiest offense to run in madden 21 where you still can run the ball and you're somewhat flexible because there are some pass plays in it now i want to thank you for watching this video if this video helped you which i hope it helped quite quite a bit of people because i think that this is definitely something that you should know if you want to get started on offense this is a great place to start these formations where you can run the ball and also pass the ball make it tough for your opponent to adjust make it tough for him to get comfortable because he might just set up to stop the pass and then guess what i just throw a stretch at him and get a touchdown because they weren't ready for it until the next video uh, which is going to be another mutt video 10 tips you should not miss and one of the things i have to say i'm very mad that i didn't have one of those uh, 10 mutt tips videos that uh, i'm gonna do is because I lost a lot of coins when I started off with my if you don't want to do that then make sure to watch that video turn on notifications so you don't miss when I upload that also going to be streaming some weekend league this weekend over on my twitch link is in the description I appreciate you guys for sticking it all the way through uh, and till next time goodbye man